uncovered every day. Just like Holden, they are aware of the long-term damage adults place on children, and many current experts can be considered similar to Holden's dream of becoming the catcher in the rye, saving vulnerable children from situations such as theirs before it's too late. Jane Gallagher is a major example of why Holden believes children are vulnerable from the effects of adults. Growing up with Jane and witnessing the unstable relationship she's exposed to by her stepfather, Holden's mindset alters dramatically. Then she really started to cry. Here, Holden is immediately aware of the outcomes of such a problematic situation, that adult neg negativity and its effects on children are irreversible, and that the vulnerability of children is not determined by the child or teenager themselves, but by their closest adults, their parents. According to Parliament.com, between the years 2008 and 2009, over 162,000 cases of parent-to-child neglect were investigated by Australian State Police. The epidemic has been growing and today is considered far too prevalent by many child protection experts. As this trend continues to rise, more and more children are losing faith in the most important adults in their lives, their parents. According to Headspace Townsville, as of 2014, three out of five children don't trust their parents, having increased by 26% since the 1960s. Reasons include the lack of communication, pathological lying, and physical and or emotional abuse. From this increase alone, it is clear that Holden's view is even more relevant today than the 1950s. The setting of 1951 in New York City is obviously dated compared to today. However, as times have changed and people have created different expectations, it does not change the relevance of Holden's overall view of the world today. Although Holden may be annoying the setting dated, his views of adult mentality and phoniness, along with his opinions on child and teen vulnerability, are extremely similar to examples shown in the present day. These issues are continually on the rise, and thus so is the relationship between Holden's view of the world and our own.